Hi, today I will do an overview of my Combat Pro Watch Reversing. So, Reversing was my third attempt on a one pound Combat Robot. Here is my first one. <laughs> you can see it's very bad design and it was made in four days, including the design phase to design to finish and it didn't compete because the receiver uh, smoked when I was testing and I didn't have any time to buy one. Here is the second version and here my mistake that was that I tried to make my own receiver and transmitter and it caused a lot of problems but the design it's very more refined than the first version that is basically a block <laughs> but still have lots of problems including the wheels that is angled and only have two so have I seen was my try to solve the previous problems. It has four wheels. As you can see, it's very inspired by Byte Force. It had this single tooth weapon glued to a brushless outrunner model. And it used these neoprene wheels, foam wheels like finger, finger tech ones, but the Brazilian version from Robocop. The, the chassis is 3D printed from Petit G. It consists in three pieces, the main chassis that I will show in a second, the bearing tower and the motor tower and the cover. Here it's a spare chassis. As you can see, it's a unibody design and very, very rigid for a one pound. Here is the more mount that fits right here with two M3 by 25 screws. And here's where it sits the berry and fits here in the other side. Down you have this piece that fits a screw to put a wedge. But I have some problems with that that broke off in one of the fights and didn't hold very well very well. I will have to design this part. For locomotion, we need to use four and twenty motors. And first, I try to 3D print my own hubs to save on weight, but I discovered that it strips very easily. So I had to use this aluminum ones. It's more heavy but it's more robust. The wheels I use 20 to 40 millimeters in diameter by 20 in width. And the model is this one. That is simply sand in here in the outside and glue the weapon. The weapon is a single piece machine of 4340 40 steel and tempered at 40 HRC and it held with some degree of damage but it's pretty good for another time. The weapon weighs about 55 to 60 grams 
for this class it's a, it's a good weight. And for the overview of the design, I think it, it's it. I will put the batteries and we'll do a drive side, a drive test, as it came from the competition. Just one more thing before I do the drive test. It's that the motors and the lead is held by eight screws. That it's for to simplify, to have less screws and less weight on the screws. The weapon is held by only four. And you need to, to lift up the road uh, because if you not, the motors will lift up and change the position. Just before I close, you can see it's very tight in, in the robot. You, you do not have any space left. The berries, the finger tech power switch, the motors, the weapon mask, and here the receiver and the electronics. I will turn on the radio and turn on the robot. So, as you can see, it's one of the problems I have in the competition. It's my Spectrum radio goes like crazy whenever it wants in the power on and I, I need to recalibrate basically every time I turn on, turn on the radio. So for my next competition I will have to use other radio. I can't use this spectrum anymore. So I will do the a reconfiguration procedure and let's see if that solves and you can see the green light is very 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 intensive and let's put here and do a simple drive test Oops. Oops. and a weapon spin up You can see my radio is giving me a lot of problems, and the other problems that this radio is, had, is giving me is that the mix, as you can see, it is full forward, and here I will uh, make it go like this. And you can see the more the N20 motor have lots more in RPM and the mix just didn't give that so you can see in the fight video that it's very very slow and because of the mix of this radio and other analog mix so I truly need to, to buy another radio as you can see, the four-wheel drive it works like a charm and the N20 models did give, didn't give me any trouble in the battles. 
the weapon, as you saw, it's very, very fast and hits well. I didn't, I would do not change the weapon for now. I just need to change the put all four of metal hubs, change, tweak some things in the design and change my radio. So the big problem is, is that my receiver is very 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 tiny so I need to find another radio that have a tiny receiver that will you will see in the electronics video that, that I will do of this road. That was what I have to say about have a single this version. It definitely will compete in the future. As I I say I just need some clicks to to be very very good and in this stage it can drive inverted and if it, the weapon is spin, spinning and hit the arena wall it can turn it back on so I'm very happy with the design if you have any question comment down below and thanks for watching bye